demonstration for tonight is something that I was super excited about. Um, I have a lot of notions that I've been collecting for demonstrations and notion reviews. And of course, when I purchase them, I think they're all really great uh, notions and supplies. This one I thought was good, but when I actually tried, tested it out earlier today, I was like, wow, this is on a scale of 10 to 10. I feel like this made me really excited, so I would, I would rate it a 10. But um, Danny's gonna switch to the overhead camera and I'm gonna share with you um, these Giordini paints. So I purchased these from Buckle Guy in the United States. I'm actually gonna zoom in so that in a second when I do the demonstration, you can see um, close up. So I purchased this color set uh, sampler pack. They also sell the individual colors in jars, um, but I, I decided to pick up this sampler set just so I could, I wasn't sure which color I'd be using, so I figured, well, I'll just get this set. So. These are the colors that are included and you can mix them. So for example, if you need a navy blue, you could take this uh, blue right here with a little bit of uh, black, mix them together and get the color you need. Obviously you'll be mixing in a separate container um, or a paint palette just so that you don't get uh, the original color contaminated. You'll also need what I purchased, also these from Buckle Guy. Um, a base coat, I got a little jar of base coat and I got a top coat. So I got the matte top coat. I think they had uh, glossy, they had other options for that, but I just usually, I generally prefer a matte look even with uh, when I'm printing pictures, I, I like matte. And you'll need um, a paint roller. So this is the paint roller tool. I think, I don't remember if I got this from Buckle Guy or not, but I used this um, when I did my edge coat demonstration a couple years back. So. This Giordini paint, the application is similar to the edge coat. So if you're not familiar with edge coat, you can find that video on my YouTube channel. But what it does is it, let me move this out of the way. So I prepared a little sample. This is one of the six quick cork projects, the bifold wallet. So before the show, I applied the Giordini paint just to this little area over here. So I'm not sure, hopefully you can see it on camera. So this edge right here, I applied the, the paint to, and this is the just the raw edge over here. So I think I probably could have done a little bit better of trimming the fabric so that they were even, but this is what it looks like. And the color that I used for this, this is the natural uh, with gold cork. I used um, this one straight up. I didn't change the color at all. Obviously you could, but I just uh, wanted to, you know, prepare my little sample before the show. So this is what I did. So I wanted to share with you um, the process for applying this. So you'll be using this paint roller for all three steps. So step number one is the base coat, which I did before the show. I applied some base coat to this edge. Um, between each step, you allow the layers to dry for 30 minutes. So base coat, apply, let it dry for 30 minutes. Um, if you have a rough edge, you can use some a bit of sandpaper to sand it if you'd like. Um, step number two is the actual color. So after you apply the color, you let it dry for 30 minutes and then um, the top coat, apply the top coat, let it dry for 30 minutes and then you're done. So um, I applied the base coat before the show just because I don't have you know all that time to let the different layers dry on the show, but I thought I would apply um, the edge paint. Oh, that little top came off. Okay, there we go, I'll put that to the side. I thought I'd apply this, again, the process is the same as far as applying each of the layers. So I'm just gonna dip this in my container. And like I said, if you're using a paint palette, you would obviously just uh, dip, dip it in there instead. Okay, as you can see, it's got paint on all of the edges and I'm just gonna apply it. You just roll it until you see even layers on all surfaces and like I said, obviously I, I should have chosen a better uh, sample as far as um, having my layers cut even, but as you can see, super easy to do. I just rinsed this off um, in between each of the different layers and then this, this layer is gonna dry for 30 minutes. And again, let me see where I had the, the finished edge. So this is the finished edge. Again, that's what it looks like. So I'm super impressed with this. Um, you'll want to apply this to the edges before you sew it to fabric. So for instance, if you're applying this to your strap fabric, 
you'll apply it to the strap after you top stitch it, but before you stitch the bag, or sorry, before you stitch the strap to the actual bag because you don't wanna be painting and accidentally getting some of this um, edge paint on your fabric. Um, yeah, this is a really, I, I'm going to be use it, using this in future. It's good for cork, vinyl, leather. While you can leave the edges raw, I just feel like this is super professional and what you'd see from a bag that you would purchase in the store. So again, um, super impressive. And again, it's uh, called Giardini Paint. Um, another thing that I wanted to mention about this, and I've also linked to it in the description, but the, the actual paint has a shelf life of about 12 months after you purchase it. So just keep that in mind um, as far as what size bottle you're purchasing. If you're buying a sample pack, um, maybe start off with just a small bottle of a color you think you'll use often, such as black. See how you like it and then maybe invest in other colors just because of the, the shorter shelf life. So um, I really love this prod product so much. I, was, um, I thought it was interesting. By the way, Margaret uh, recommended this Giardini paint in the Facebook group and I had never heard of it, so I started to do some investigating and um, I thought it seemed interesting, but it sort of blew me away. So um, again, the links are in the description Description if you'd like to read more about the Giardini paints or see what kind of colors are available.